Hello everyone, I am Ishan and I get this question asked by a lot of people who you know watch my videos or listen to my podcast and they talk to me like and they have this question and that is how should one be consistent as a developer? How should I develop that consistency? Uh, many people you know start developing, they start watching some tutorials, then they miss one day and then they watch the second day and then they miss two more days and then they watch the fourth day. So you know this leads to a lot of inconsistency and you won't ever be able to efficiently learn. Right. And so one thing that really helps out is understanding uh, your goal. What is your goal? What do you want to do once you learn software development? Do you want a job? And even if you want a job, what should that job be like? Should that job be like the uh, big tech companies like, you know, uh, Facebook or Amazon or Google? Or should it be in the startup company or in the middle tier companies? Because again, for both of those, there would be different uh, ways to get to them, right? Because for big tech companies, you might want to focus on formative coding and uh, getting your DSA perfect. Or if you want to work for uh, some other uh, startups and mid-tier companies, you might want to focus more on your projects, right? Uh, so that is really important to understand. You have to define what your goal is. You want a job or you want uh, to do freelancing or you only want to learn it as a hobby because look, any of these is fine, right? But you just have to have a goal. What do you want to do? Do you only want to do it because everyone else is doing? Because if you are doing it just because everyone else is doing it, then that is not uh, the most efficient way and you will uh, have inconsistencies and you will just not learn it uh, in the best form or fashion, right? So that is really important to have, have, have a goal, have a vision, right? And next is really important to have a direction, right? How do you have a direction? Let me just give you an example. Let's just say that you want to become a web developer. Uh, your dream is to become a full stack web developer, right? Like that is what I want to do. But anyways, I want to become a full stack web developer. First of all, I'll focus on front end development, right? Front end development uh, requires you to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Really break it down into chunks. And then I can actually go for other, uh, you know, React or Vue or anything. But most important is uh, HTML and CSS uh, to really master that. And so what I would do is that I would write on a page, piece of paper that I want to learn HTML first of all. Write it on a piece of paper and stick it on your wall. Okay. Whenever you, you know, get up in the morning, you look at that wall and then you understand, okay, this is what I have to do today. This is what my vision is. This is not what my goal is for today. Right. And uh, HTML, if you want to learn HTML, there are some pretty good courses. Uh, again, on free code camp, pretty easily available. Just write it down that this is a three hour course. And so you might not be able to do it in one sitting. Right. So you, you can be like, okay, I'll do it in three days, one hour, one hour, one hour. And so you write, write it down on that piece of paper that on 1st of July, I will complete HTML one hour uh, of that particular free code camp course or whatever course you want to. Then you say on the second day, I'll do the second thing. And the third day, I'll, I'll do the third thing right? for the third hour. And then what you do is that you have projects in between. You do HTML, then you have some projects in between. You do CSS, then you have a project that uses HTML and CSS both. Right? That is really important to understand because if you are only learning, you're not implementing. You only have a passive form of consuming media and content and not producing enough stuff, right? It's really important to do that because only then would you really, you know, take it into, uh, you know, consideration into your brain and really boil it down to what uh, software development really is, which is all about practicing and, you know, uh, executing on what you have learned, right? So that's really important to understand. Make a goal, have a goal, right? And then uh, people also ask me, how do you get started in freelancing and uh, so one thing that is really important to understand in freelancing is that you have to you know find your first client if you can find your first client then the second and the third becomes really simple how do you find the first client let's just say that you want to become a web developer you want to build websites for people and so how do you build a website first of all you learn them again you by sticking it out on on your piece of paper and sticking it out on your uh, you know wall and then uh, you know breaking it down into chunks you want to first learn html html plus css then you have some projects then you learn javascript have more projects advanced javascript then react more projects and that is how you build your own portfolio right so do that and then uh, you have to approach people you can either approach people through, uh, you know, online. You can find people on, on you know, freelancer or up, Upwork or anything. Uh, there are multiple sites. I'll link them in the description. Go check it out. But anyways, you do that and then uh, you realize that you won't be able to get people online easily, right? There are multiple people who have tons of years of experience. At least that is what they write in their, uh, you know, in their prompt. They say that they have 10 years experience and they'll uh, be happy to do it in less than 
what everyone else uh, does your work for freelancing right what you have to do is that you can actually approach your local businesses think about your area okay let's just say my area, my area is kandivali so now i have to find people in kandivali mumbai who can uh, who want to make their websites right and i can help them with their websites i would go to a kirana store i would go to a supermarket i would ask them uh, hey would you like me to make your own website or i would actually uh, look at their own website and see how good they are and if they are not good i'll just tell them that bro your not website is not good enough and i can help you fix it another thing that really works out is that really go look at their website most of them have like uh, like crappy static html websites go uh, make a good website for them don't just use a template okay this is a real project that you are making show it to that person and tell them that i am making this website for you would you like me to help you out with this most likely that person will say yes okay because again you are providing value you are not coming off as uh, as a jerk or you are not spamming per people so that person will definitely say yes to you next you have to have to do is that you have to you know and again if that person says no you just say okay fine and then that becomes your project right that becomes a project that will go into your resume if that person says yes that is your first client and next what you have to do is that you can use that person as, as your leverage and then look for other people in your local community there are many people that need their websites you know furniture people people who are you know just having their own supermarkets in your locality you can definitely find the other people in your locality right that is not a big deal so that is how i would say that you proceed with uh, software development again it is really important to be consistent with whatever you're doing all right guys now i hope you learned something from this video if you learned something and uh, would like to watch other content make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon and also like this video and yeah thank you so much for the 1000 subscribers it really means a lot to me and uh, yeah i'm just so grateful that all of you like to watch my videos and it's just uh, i'm just grateful for it i am not like super excited because i want to stay in this uh, you know region of calmness because sometimes you will get a lot of good things happening in your life and you'll be like oh that is so good that is so good but then at times you will also have fears in your life and you'll be down or someone says a negative hate comment uh, to you and so that means that you would actually become sad instantly and i don't do any of that stuff i stay in the middle and i stay focused on my work i stay uh, focused on making videos and putting it out to every single person out there okay so yeah that is just uh, what i am going through right now Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next one bye bye